In this video, we're going to implement the ability to sign in with Facebook using PHP. So let's take a look at how this works. If we hit sign in with Facebook here, you see we get this window here. If we're not signed in already, we will be asked to sign in and we get to review the information that we uh, are providing to the app and we hit OK. That will then redirect us back and you can see it's just showing my full name. You can access other user information here depending on what you're requesting. So let's go ahead and sign out. And the first thing we really need to do is go ahead and set up our app. This will give us our API key. Then we go ahead and install the Facebook SDK, the version four. And then that's it really. There's a, a few lines of code and we're pretty much done. We can authenticate. The Facebook SDK makes it really easy to implement this. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new app. This is absolutely vital to implement this. So let's go over to developers.facebook.com and let's hit create a new app. We'll give this a name. We're just going to call it PHP Academy in this case, and we'll choose a category. We hit create app and we type in this code. So once that's done, you'll see that your app's created. You'll have an app ID and app secret. We'll be using these later when we connect to the Facebook API. But the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and install the dependency. So let's head over to our text editor and I'm going to create a new file in here. And this is going to be called composer.json. Now you'll need composer installed to install this dependency. So head over to getcomposer.org if you haven't already got it and follow the instructions to install it on your operating system. And what we're now going to do is we're going to use require to require in the dependencies that we need. Now the Facebook SDK is hosted on GitHub and you can download this via Composer by using uh, packages here. So we're going to be installing not 4.0.7 or anything like that. We're going to be including 4.0. Asterisk. So let's paste this in here and we'll change this to an asterisk. So what we're going to do now is actually head over to the command line and run composer install. And that's going to hit install this dependency for us. OK, so now that's downloaded, you will notice that you have a vendor folder inside of your directory. And this includes something called autoload, which just allows you to conveniently load in all of your dependencies for your project. Now we're going to create a new folder inside of our root directory called app. And this is going to house a file called init.php, which is just going to require in that autoload file. So let's say require once vendor autoload.php. Now what we also want to do at this point is make sure we start sessions because we're going to be storing the token that we get back from Facebook in a session. Now what we need to do before we connect using the Facebook SDK is to make sure that we have a valid URL or URI as a OAuth callback. So if you head over to your app settings in this uh, left hand panel and you head over to advanced and scroll down you'll see valid OAuth re redirect URIs. So I'm going to paste this in here and this just means that when we validate we know we're going to be re redirected back to the right place. So if we hit save changes here we're now actually ready to start to connect to the API. So what we need to do is we need to first of all provide our API key or our secret key and our app ID in here. So if we call the Facebook session class, which is uh, stored under the Facebook namespace, we use the set default application method to provide in two parameters. This is our app ID and our key. So under here, we need to grab our app ID and we can paste that in there. And we need to grab our app secret, which shouldn't be publicly visible. And we can paste that in there. So now that we've done that, we can create a new Facebook redirect login helper instance. What this will help us to do is generate the URL that we click as a user to sign in. And then it will check for us things like whether we've been redirected successfully back. And the rest is a breeze. So let's create a Facebook variable here and we'll set this equal to new Facebook. And again, it's namespace under Facebook, a Facebook redirect login helper. Now inside of here, we need to provide the uh, auth URI, which is this one here. So we just paste that in and we're done. 
So what we can now do with this is we can generate that link that we saw earlier. So under our root directory, let's create a new file. This is going to be the index file where we show the user the link. Uh, let's just bung some uh, basic markup in here quickly. OK, so I've just put some basic markup in here, but this can be whatever you like. Uh, what we do need to do is we do need to include the init file at the top of this page. So let's require that in. So at init.php and that gives us access to the Facebook variable that we created earlier but what we want to do down here is we want to create an if statement that allows us to check if a Facebook session is set so we're going to check if it's not set here so it is accessing the session super global and we've called the session Facebook we'll be setting this later so make sure that you remember this name and let's end this if just here OK, so what we're going to do in here is we're going to create an anchor. And we're going to say sign in with Facebook. This can be anything you like, an image or whatever. So for the link, we can uh, we automatically generate this. We don't really need to do much. We just echo out Facebook. And then there's a method called get login URL. So let's take a look at what this has done. There we are. So when we click on this, you see that we're redirected through to Facebook and it asks for permission. Now we're not going to hit OK just yet because we don't have any way of processing things when we've come back from Facebook. So inside of init.php, we're going to do this now. Now we're going to wrap this in a try block. So the first thing that we're going to do is check if or check the method get session from redirect. So we create an if statement here. And within this if statement, we're going to set a variable at the same time. So we're going to say if session, and we're storing that in session, and what we're checking is get session from redirect. So if that's the case, what we can then do is store this in a session. Remember that session name. And from the session that we have stored here at the same time as checking, we use the get token method to get this token. And what we're then going to do is we're going to just redirect the user back to the index.php page. You can do whatever you want here. So let's check that this works first of all. Uh, and we should see this disappear once that session has been set. So if I hit sign in with Facebook and I hit OK. Uh, ah, cool, of course, let's add our catch on here. Now there's a couple of things that you can catch. One of them is a Facebook request exception, which is when Facebook returns an error. And then we've got uh, just a normal exception when we have local issues. So let's, uh, under the namespace of Facebook, catch a Facebook request exception. And let's call this E. We're not going to actually do anything in here. We'll just say when Facebook returns an error. And we're also going to catch a normal exception. And we'll just namespace that under our current and then we'll say call this E and this is just uh, a local issue so let's try this again let's uh, go back and there we go so basically now we are signed in we have that session set so let's just quickly get rid of this session under resources cookies and localhost we'll just go ahead and get rid of that and we're no longer signed in. So what we're going to do now is we are going to process a sign out. So under the root directory, let's hit a new file and let's save this as signout.php. And in this file, let's require in at init.php. Now what we now want to do is simply unset this Facebook session. And then redirect the user back to index.php. So let's go ahead and test this uh, sign out. So we sign in and we will add our link inside of index. So let's add an else just here. And we'll create an anchor that links through to that page. So sign out. OK, so let's test this out. We're now signed in, so we should see this. We hit sign out and we're signed out. So what we now want to do is we want to check if the user is already signed in. We then want to make a request 
and actually retrieve things like their name or other information about them depending on what we, what we request. So inside of init.php here, we're going to use this as an opportunity to check if this session is actually set. So we say if is set session Facebook. And then inside of here, what we can do is create a new Facebook session. Then we create a request. We execute that request and then we grab information. So the session we store in a variable and this is a new Facebook session namespaced under Facebook. So inside of here we pass in the session which remember is the token. So let's pass in that session. Now what we now need to do is make a request to forward slash me which will retrieve information about the user. So let's create this request as a new Facebook request. So we need to pass in the session here. That's the session that we need to validate. We need to pass in what we're doing, the um, the action. And then we need to pass forward slash me, which retrieves the user's details. We then want to um, execute this. So we say request equals request execute. So now what we can do is we can use the get graph object method and we can use that to grab the information from the user. So let's say request get graph object and we're going to get this as an array and that's it. So let's do a print R quickly on user. So we'll sign in, make sure we haven't misspelled anything. And there we go. Now you'll notice that that actually signed me in instantly and didn't ask me to verify myself again. Now the reason for this is because if we check under your uh, app settings, you'll see that you've got um, an apps you use section. And this means that because we're already, we've already authenticated essentially, we've already said yes, I'm allowing this app to access all this information, then that's it. We don't need to do it again. So you can see you've got a variety of different information about the user. Go ahead and look at the docs if you need any more. But for now, what we can do is we can get rid of this. And inside of index.php, uh, we could do something like you assigned in X. And we could replace X with And there we go.